Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. In this video we are thinking about, theorizing, predicting what's going to come up in the Codex preview online. Should we call it the online preview but whatever. Um, we know we're going to see more information about the Space Marines and Necrons Codexes. That's a sure, that's really the, what they've said. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're also going to see some miniatures and probably a few other things. So, what do you think we're gonna see? Before we start, if you have some ideas, let me know in the comments below. Give me your obvious ones, but give me your crazy outlandish ones, like a Primarch riding a Land Raider piloted by squats. Go for that one. It's never gonna happen, it's crazy. But what we reckon, what I reckon we will get, we will see some images for some of the Space Marine models that we are very much aware of that do exist, from images and names in the codex. So I'm sure we'll get to see them. So definitely we know there is a captain in Gravis armor that there's a model for it. We've seen it in the book. What I reckon they will do, they will release that as a $50, $60 model like they do, probably $70 now Australian, which is ridiculous, very high, but it is what it is. It is a really cool looking model. I'm pretty excited to get my hands on it. it has very cool stance. The cape is very nice. You can only really compare it to the existing Captain in Gravis armor, if you can call it existing. They're, you can't get it anymore because it was only available in the Dark Imperium and I think the uh, first strike box. I think. I think it was in one of the smaller boxes for 8th edition. And that's where it existed. And that's the same with the easy to build intercessors, the whole bunch of other models in there. There's still a lot of models that are not released from that box. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Particularly because of the Death Guard ones, I want all those models again. Ah, oh, I love them. But you don't have another option for a Captain in Gravis armor. You've got rules for it, but if you didn't get your hand on that model, well, you can't run it because you don't have it. So hopefully this model will be uh, customizable. And when I say customizable, I mean it has a few different options on the sprue. It looks like it has some kind of big heavy bolter. I can't, I don't have the image on me at hand. I'm going to grab them more later, but I think it was a. Um, Captain in Gravis armor with no, it was a Captain in Gravis armor with Master Crafted Bolter or Master Crafted Heavy Bolter, whatever it is. You'll see on the, the screen. I'll put it up. But it looks like awesome gun to start with. I think it's really cool. But I do love that particular pose with the cloak and the cape coming off the shoulder pads. I like that look. With the other ones, it's sort of under the uh, backpack, and I don't particularly like that. But you get that. Uh, the other one we have is Heavy Intercessors that is listed in the contents, which you can see from some of the other videos about the Codex uh, announcement. But there was also some images in there, sort of some shady looking images. It's hard to see because they were very grainy. It had to be blown up and enhanced and enhanced again. Um, so I'm interested to see what they look like. It looks like someone has, I don't know if it's a heavy bolter. It may be a slightly a slight variation on the bolters, a step up from your standard uh, bolt rifle to something a bit heavier, which will be cool. But it also looks like one has a flamer. It's hard to tell whether it's a flamer. I don't think it's a melter. Definitely not a grab gun. Um, I think it's a flamer. I think that would be really cool, a unit of flamers or some kind of weapon. I do want to see... I was going to say we do have plasma ones, but I want to see something a bit more chunkier. Um, I don't mind the plasma guns that you can get in that unit for space marines for the primary space marines but yeah i want something a little bit more a bit more weight and heft to it so you just walk up with it and you just like over everyone we also have this elusive speeder that um, i'm sure they're going to show it this image had, has been leaked for so long but it has to come out now it looks really cool it's like two primaris at the front and in the back it looks like one is sitting Fairly armoured up with their head sticking out with a whole bunch of rockets and missiles shooting off behind them. So hopefully the Space Marines do have good healthcare because seriously, they're not going to be able to hear anything after that. That uh, looks like a really chunky beast. It's almost the size of a tank. It, I almost think they used the same uh, chassis of the the grab tanks, which is kind of cool. It makes sense that they're repurposing like those STC recipes to build other things, which is very nice. In that image as well, 
I'm I'm not convinced of this. It's just something because I've looked at it in the last like half hour. There is a weird set of three or four Primaris Marines. And remember, it is a very blurry image, but they seem to have white helmets and white on their shoulder pads or white trimming on their shoulder pads. I don't know if that is anything in particular. That could be something like um, some veteran Primaris, which would be kind of cool. I have not heard anyone else talk about it, whether it's a thing or not. If they have, I've missed it. And if I have missed it, let me know in the comments and link me to it so I can go find out some more info. But, you know, maybe I'm just sort of picking at straws here. It could be something. So that's what we get for the Space Marines. I don't imagine there will be any more unless it's like a special character for uh, one of the other chapters. And in saying that, actually, there might be something else. They may announce some of the supplements for the Codex Space Marines because they're going that way where you have the Space Marine Codex and then a different faction of Space Marines, which I think makes a lot of sense. To me, that says... It's more uh, unified and consistent where you would previously you had like a Blood Angels, a uh, Dark Angels book, Space Wolves and all stuff like that, but not anything for Salamanders or Iron Hands or even Ultramarines. You had the supplements for them, even though, yes, Ultramarines would be falling into the main codex, but I thought it was a little unfair that those chapters didn't get as much love. Sure, they're not as popular, but... That's a whole other whole other issue. I think having them all as supplements to the Space Marine book is far more um, consistent. I think you can have, okay, this is the core rules. Here's some expanded rules for this particular army. And I like that idea because I can see that happening with other factions. It gives them the opportunity to expand upon, like the Necrons, for example. I'm sure this won't happen, but I could imagine... Going along that same line, they have a supplement for the Necrons, which would be a specific, um, what are they called, dynasty? I think it's a dynasty. So you have the Mephrit dynasty book. It's not going to happen, but it, you get the idea. You know, you could have some um, ones for the Orcs. I think that would be really cool. So you can get a very thematic army for that faction, like you can with the Space Marines. All right, so let's look at the Necrons. I don't think there's going to be anything else. Possibly flayed ones but I haven't seen any rumours of that. Um, I'm not up on what models the Necron army does have, but because they've shown so much, I don't think there's anything else. We may get release dates for these models, and this goes with the Space Marines as well, because we do still have a lot of models that aren't even released for both of the factions, particularly for the Necrons. And I expect that they're going to be released in waves and GW are specifically calling them waves now. They've done that with the last Luminef release, calling them wave one and wave two. And then there's going to be like a wave three, maybe. I don't think there's any more models, but maybe. So I'm hoping we get some kind of date release for that. We know the codexes for Space Marines and Necrons is around October sometime. So next month, it'll probably be halfway through October. And I've sort of predicted that it'd be about right. It makes sense. Um, it could even be beginning of October and then the waves for that will come out. So yeah, we still have a lot of Space Marine and Necron models. And like I said, I don't think there'll be any more Necron models coming out. So what else are they going to show? That can't be it. They can't just show off things that we already know. It's Games Workshop. They're going to throw out some random stuff. I think they will show, obviously they will show some more models. But what they will do is probably show the next Codex or two. I think that makes perfect sense. But what I'm really hoping is that they do a roadmap for the releases. I think that would be a great thing for people that follow along and buy Games Workshop stuff. We've seen them do that recently for Underworld and Necromunda. Um, they've been doing that for almost like six months now. Probably not even that long. But it gives you an idea, okay, this is what's going to come out. We're not going to give you every single detail. Like for Necromunda, we know that uh, House of Iron is the next book that's coming out. Sorry, we do know the models for that, but the book after that is, I can't remember what the book is off the top of my head, but we know, okay, this is when it's coming out and this is what, there will be models. We don't necessarily know what models, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Same with Underworlds. We have a roadmap for every month something's coming out. We know when the last two warbands were coming out. We know when the next expansion is coming out, like the free one and then the paid one for the multiplayer battle royale one 
and then we know when um, diachasm is coming out. Is that it? I've completely forgotten. I'm just having a mind blank. It's been a very long day at work. I think it's diachasm. So they are happy to release these kind of roadmaps. I'm hoping that we do get one for 40k. I think, honestly, I think it would be a really good thing because there is a lot of idea of hype. I don't mind hype. I think hype's good. You need to have some kind of hype to get people excited to be like, oh my God, they just announced, showed off this sneaky image of this model. Oh my God, that's amazing. I think that's really cool. But at the same time, I think if there is a a roadmap to show like some kind of regular release, okay, every month we're going to release a codex. Every two months we're going to release a codex. And this is kind of what the theme is. Not necessarily have to say what it is, but, you know, there could be the next one, I think, shown off will be orcs. I don't, I've got nothing to say why that is. We have seen there is a new orc model coming, um, but I think they will be doing Xenos stuff. That's just my feeling. Could be wrong based on nothing at all. So I think that would be kind of cool. Give me a roadmap. So yeah, what I want, roadmap, show me lots of cool models. Um, tell me what the next codex is. And there we go. And I'll be, I'm going to be a happy boy. This is going to be completely 40k. I don't think there'll be anything for Warhammer or any other games. Possibly Kill Team. Anything 40k, sorry. Yeah, anything 40k, not Necromunda. Um, it'll be 40k or Kill Team. I don't think there'll be anything else. So that's what I'm thinking. So let me know in the comments what you think. I think... And this is similar, what I've suggested is very similar to what other people are saying. So the big YouTubers like um, Valrak and, and Kirioth, that, that's what, what they're suggesting, um, which makes sense. I don't think that there's going to be many surprises here unless they pull something completely out of left field and be like, hey, here's a new complete faction. I don't think that's going to happen. I would be, I'd love it. And he's hoping for squats. And though that is not a joke, <laughs> I want a squat army. I want my space dwarves back. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm quitting. Been going for 12 minutes. So thank you for watching. Um, definitely subscribe if you want to see some more content. I will be doing like a review recap of the Codex preview. And we've got videos coming out pretty much every day on here and on, over at Plays. We have the Necromunda Under Hive Wars videos coming up and a few other video games that will be coming out soon. So yeah, there you go. That's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.